There have been calls for more representation of women around the decision-making table, and Wimbers appears to be walking the talk by amplifying the voices of the women seated in this hall for a mock presidential debate under the 2022 Wimbers Women in Politics Mentoring Program. So when you keep doing something and you see that... The platform is aimed at giving women more insight into the rudiments of politics and what it takes to win a ticket. Mentees from three mock political parties take the stage to pitch their manifestos to the online and on-site audience whose vote they seek. I do not come with titles, but I come with the hope to restore this great nation. I will restore Nigeria and I will not fail you. I'm going to transform the security, I'm going to transform the electricity, I'm going to transform the transportation channels and as, as well as uh, information. <laughs> Their race approaches a turning point as voters now go on to cast their votes. Four NUP. Five NUP. Six ANP. Seven LLDP. By the powers conferred on me by Wimpole, Wimpies, Wimbies, I hereby declare. Paula Shade Aduni Koka of Awake Nigeria Party, the winner of this election. Thank you. With a total of 188 votes, Paula Shade Aduni Koka of the Awake Nigeria Party emerges president-elect, beating two contenders from the Nigerian Unified Party and the leading leader's Democratic Party. My dear people, Make no mistake, united we can and will overcome the season of darkness in our land. We will choose hope over fear, facts over fiction, and fairness over privilege. So the question for us is simple, are we ready? As preparations for the 2023 general elections pick up pace, the organizers also harp on the need for all to get their permanent voter cards. So I am so proud of what Wimbis is doing, and I say two thumbs up indeed to Wimbis, but this has brought it home for me. So anyone who's been in the room today who didn't have a PVC will be gingered, if you permit my use of the word, to get up and go and register. This is something that is going to be ongoing. This is our first. We're going to have a second stream, a third stream, until we have enough pipeline of women who are confident, who have the courage, right, to actually say, look, I want to stand for president or governor. Wimbiz says it seeks to paint a hopeful vision of the nation's future with initiatives such as this to help reshape Nigeria's political landscape.